Custom tracks, custom tracks, custom tracks, guys. Today's video is gonna be all about custom tracks. I'm gonna be hopping in, playing a few custom tracks, and giving you guys my opinions on those tracks that we do play. Today, we're gonna start off with SR Compound V2 by Rockstar87866. This track came from Blake Sykes213, and he also mentioned I could use this track for a challenge, so you know what? Let's do it, let's roll the intro, and let's have some fun in this video. Alright, as we're loading in here guys, let's get a little bit of promo out of the way. If you guys enjoy at any point in time, smash that thumbs up button for me guys. Show your support. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. A subscription, it would be much appreciated. Throw any comments down below. If you guys have Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. It's always linked in the description. If you just type in Goonzig on Instagram, Goonzig Productions should come up. Give me a follow on Instagram. Other than that, check out the Once Company guys. Once. Check out the Once Company, link in the description. Some big things are coming. I got some things in the works, so just stay tuned, guys. Everything is linked in the description, and let's get in to checking out this track. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a few laps on this track, and then my challenge- Oh, look at that sand section right there, we jumped right over it. But my challenge is gonna be to try and complete a lap of the track in second gear only. Or should we- maybe we should do first gear. Fifth gear? I don't know, we'll decide in a second. After we do a lap, I'll actually decide based on how the track actually rides. And I'll see which one I think would probably be harder. Oh, that section is interesting. Through here, oh man, a lot of triples. Actually, man, everything flows. Every section we've hit so far actually has a decent flow to it. A lot of sand. You guys know how I feel about Supercross and sand, but the creator's done it pretty good. The sand doesn't really, I mean, take away from the flow of the track. I mean, not that I've noticed so far. So, so far is so good, man. We've got a different variety of jumps. It has a gnarly flow to it, man. Like, floater jumps. Oh, okay. The first section we're actually going to have to time, I think. I think we might have to choke up a little bit. Or try and, I mean, send it a little further. And hit the big boy line. But we will see what we can get up to. Same with this section wonky line through there we just got to learn what to do what the heck what what happened to my camera before i crashed there we like hit the finish line and my camera went all wonky this track oh 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 i thought i was going off track this track is definitely fun man it has a gnarly flow to it and everything just kind of works on a 450 it would be interesting to try it out on a 250 just to see i mean if everything still kind of flows the same but i need to figure out these next couple of sections here we kind of messed i think this one up on the last lap i mean that kind of worked we kind of got through a good this lap there's a big old triple here if you actually get a good drive you could probably toss it on that one a big old triple here and then last lap i think i actually hit the quad into the corner but uh you guys know cool moments man they don't go away fifth gear wide open let's do it fifth gear only i guess i'm not going to be wide open because then i would not I would definitely not stop for the corners, but let's see what we can do in fifth gear only. I feel like fifth gear is not going to be the gear you want on, I mean, a lot of these sections. The thing is, this track does have some big jumps. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, okay. That uh, was a goon moment. But the track definitely has, like, some big jumps and a pretty good flow to it. But at the same time, it's tight and technical, and that's where the... Yo, did my guy just like decide to let go and go for a dirt nap or what? The track itself is actually pretty tight and technical and that's where, I mean, having the torque in the lower gears on the 450 really comes, it comes in handy when you're, when you're trying to hit big jumps out of corners and stuff like that. Like fifth gear, we have no acceleration. We have a, like a high top speed, but man. It takes us forever to get going. Do you guys think I can run a clean lap? Why Why do I doubt myself? I feel like I am not going to be able to actually make it around the track clean without messing up or going down. I want like a completely clean lap, man. No mistakes. Okay. Okay, Freeze. Hit me a little bit. Usually we should be able to quad into that corner, but hey, we still made it through. All right. We didn't really mess up, but we did kind of miss 
We, we missed the fast line. Man, my rhythm through the whoops is so bad. I always mess up the whoops. I don't know why. Everyone's like, get into fifth gear and hold it wide open. And when I do that, man, whenever I do that, it messes me up so bad. Can I make it onto this table? Hey, there we go. Now, this triple here is the real tough one. Right out of the corner like that. Oof. Oof. It is hard to make. This one here, a little triple action into the corner, and then we can actually try and quad. Just hit that single, it works. Here we want to double, stretch it out. We're battling with the man, Chad Reed. So far, so good. On a clean lap. I mean, maybe not the, the prettiest lap, but uh, no major mistakes. Yeah, no major mistakes. Did, did I just mess up this triple? Nope, we're still, man. Everything is a stretch. I actually could not imagine this track, I don't think, on A250. Oh, that's our first mistake. One section before the finish line. This finish line section is pretty tough, too. You gotta get a good pop off of there to, boom, make it just like that. Okay, 139, 156, not a bad lap time at all. I'm gonna take that and go with it. This next track I'm checking out comes from Mr. Lindsay 433 or Kai8511, and I actually feel like I've checked this track out before, so we may just get some gnarly deja vu when I hop in and load into the track and do my first lap. I might be like, oh, yep, we played it before, or maybe not. Maybe I haven't played it before, and uh, we will see. We will see. The track is called Beast Track, so we're gonna, we're gonna put it to the test, man. Don't you guys think I am playing a track without seeing if it lives up to the name? If you have the courage, the power, the will, to name your track beast track you know it's it's got to be a good track right okay we got some sand you guys know me and sand we don't get along i just don't get along with the sand sections actually i find some sand wow english is tough haven't had one of those moments in a while but i do find that some sand sections are actually like really easy and some of them are a lot more difficult i feel like i've played this track before but at the same time I don't know if I have, but sand on a supercross track. In real life, I feel like it would definitely suck, especially because you don't really spread out from everyone. You're always, I mean, by the time you spread out with the field, you're getting into lappers and everything. So yeah, you're always getting roosted and having a sand section, man, it would just be, it would be gnarly racing that close quarters. I feel like I've checked this track out before, but at the same time, I don't think I have. Let me know in the comments, guys. If I've played this track before, oh man, you guys are gonna roast me. I know it, you guys are definitely gonna roast me. I remember it, this section. I remember this section. Did I play this track? I feel like, oh, I have definitely played this track before. I actually don't think I have, I, I, I don't know. It's a pretty fun track though, if I'm being honest, like a lot of fast lines. Kinda tough to find the flow. I mean, that was literally my first lap, but uh, I'm assuming the flow would, would come over time. A lot of variety, like every section is, is kind of different and has its own unique feel to it. This section here, I don't know what's going on. It gets pretty wild right here with these dips. Oh man, we got a gnarly pop off of that one. But yeah, pretty fun track. I feel like I've played it before at the same time. I don't remember. I would say that it's definitely, I would say it's probably a 450 track. Some of the jumps out of the corners you might struggle with on a 250 because, I mean... I'm struggling on a 450. But all in all, I would say, I mean, the big jumps and just like the variety of sections. Does it live up to the name Beasted Track? I, I think so. I think mission successful on this track. This is definitely a pretty fun track. Fast, flowy, big jumps. Hold it wide open. Hope for the best. So guys, I figured, um... It was probably time to put my skills to the test and do some training. So this is Breezy Camp SX and maybe I'll learn a thing or two playing this track. Holy, this section is gnarly. It's probably so fun to actually get a flow through this section and not just, I mean, case every jump. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going to be a track where it's going to take a little bit to actually learn where we need to go. A couple of the jumps kind of, I mean, turn while you're in the air and if you if you don't know where you're going man i literally jumped like right off the track fun track so far though like really fun track and honestly i feel like the rhythm especially that first rhythm section it looks really unique and it looks like if you actually nail the line it would be a ton 
of fun. Into this pool, holy man. The sections on this track are so different. I have never seen anything like it. What should I do into this section? So jump all the way to here, and then where do we end up going? To here. And then what do we want to end up doing? Interesting. Very interesting. That section is definitely tough. This whoop section is like a washboard whoop section. No way, this jump. Oh, dude, this is the jump I was talking about last lap, man. I didn't, I didn't know it turned, and I sent it off the track. This lap, I knew it turned... I still sent it off the track. I wonder what happens if we come to this outside. Oh, whoa. What a line. Oh, I think this line actually flowed. I don't know. We hit... Uh, uh, that's, that's a... Whoa, whoa, English, man. What What's up with today? Why is English so hard? So, yeah, once again, another fun track with what I would say is a pretty fun flow. Pretty fun flow. Different. Unique. I don't really know. I don't really know what to do in this section. Oh, can I then triple? Triple to here? And then triple? Hey, there we go. I just took a couple laps to figure it out. Okay, I should have I, I should have choked up a little bit. And then we w one, I can't ride. Two, I can't talk. I think uh, I think it's time to end the video. That's three pretty fun tracks and honestly, you guys kill it. These are all tracks that you guys have made, people that have commented on the videos. So you guys kill it, man. You guys make some pretty fun tracks and have some awesome ideas. If you guys do have a track on Xbox that you want me to check out, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. A shout out to all the track creators, man. You guys are legends making tracks, man. Who did we check out tracks from? Jay Breeze, Lindsay, and Blake absolutely killed it making those three tracks. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Throw any comments down below. Check out the Once Company. Follow at Goonzik on Instagram. I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace out.